Hello. Today is Father's Day, and I'm going to talk to you about God, our Heavenly Father. Jesus came to earth to tell us that God in heaven was the Father to everyone in the whole world. That means that everyone in the world are brothers and sisters in the family of God. So for the past month, we've been talking about the Holy Spirit. Remember, we had the windsock and talked about how the Holy Spirit was sort of like the wind because you couldn't see it, but you could feel it in your heart. Then we talked about the Holy Spirit when we, like God blowing up a balloon, God's breath is the Holy Spirit giving life to us. Then we talked about filling up our lives with the Holy Spirit when we had the sponge last week, that we fill up our life with the Holy Spirit, and then when we get put into hard situations, it's easier for us. So Jesus told us another thing about the Holy Spirit. He told us that we need to ask God to send the Holy Spirit to us. And he gave an example. He was talking to his friends, and some of them were fathers. And so he asked the fathers, if your child asked you for a piece of bread, would you instead give them a stone? Of course, the father said, no, of course not. We love our children. We want them to give them good things, not bad things. And so Jesus said, if you earthly fathers know how to give good gifts to your children, imagine how our heavenly father, who is so, so wonderful, knows how to give a good gift, the Holy Spirit, when we ask him. So how do we ask God for anything? By praying, of course. That's like knocking at God's door. Knock, 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 and God will always open it. He always wants to hear us and hear our prayers. And if we are asking him to send the Holy Spirit, he will always, give, he will always send the Holy Spirit to us to be our helper and our comforter. If we need help because we're in a difficult situation and we don't know what the right thing to do is, or if we are sad or alone and lonely or scared, he will send the Holy Spirit to us to comfort us. So remember, ask God to send the Holy Spirit to you, and he, you always will receive it. God bless you.